So yeah, we did. So on our first playthrough, we did um, challenging, which is like normal, I guess. So it says your skills will be tested, forgiving, survival is expected, lethal, death is inevitable. I'm choosing lethal. Because I'm dumb. Um, we'll do a new slot. <laughs> so yeah, there's play the original path through the story, curators cut play the, play the alternate path through the story. And that's what we're doing. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Also, if you have any questions, please let me know. I am happy to help. But yeah, this is... So there's also, I will say, a character that I'm pretty sure will die regardless um he's kind of an ass and i don't like him you'll you'll figure out pretty fast which one it is i'll i'll say also i'm not telling you when the scares are coming They really are. Your blood will pay the debt our king demands. Yeah. Your sacrifice will lift his curse from our land. General Bellatum, forgive me, my lord. The king demands your urgent presence. The gods smile on you. For now. Take this one back to his cell. I'll deal with him later. You're in luck, Gutia. Luck? No. No luck for you, so... Nope. It's okay. It, they'll all die one way or another. This is also the first... Um, Dark Pictures Anthology game that's had a difficulty setting. Which I'm really excited about, because... And the other games, like, Where I found it from, relatively Who challenging to kill them. Claim such a pretty thing. I'm no thief. Then you're unique among your kind. Either that, or a liar. No way your people make it. You can't even watch your own asses, much less you your children. That belongs to me. Don't take that. In this house, you have no right. All favor is owed to the sons of Naran Sin. The Gutian army. Perhaps you're lucky after all. You get to hear your people scream as they fall before us. Nah, we're I'll going. Kill you, Arcadian. Oh, you will learn who we are. We're going full on badass here. Us out. But we still stand. We still stand. You Gutians are a stain on this world. A worthless pack of feral dogs. Too stupid to survive another day. Mm, says the man so? about to die. I didn't fuck up the first time we played this. Oh. Oh. oh boy. I didn't have to do that the other time. Yeah, we're non-violent here. Everything we do is, you know, totally normal.
looks like you are right. I am a thief. Mm hmm Find a way out. Okay. We'll do. The Gutians are coming, General. The Moon God sends an army to destroy us. I shall muster our forces immediately. Good. And what news from below? There are hundreds of prisoners, my king. Their sacrifice will take time. Time is no longer in our hands. No matter. The blood of this army will nourish the sand. The sacrifice will be fulfilled. That's a bad idea. Don't kill thousands of people. He looks like a statue. And there is his statue! <laughs> relatively small army. I was expecting bigger. We've played this already, but like, it was a while ago. Doesn't this just take you back to the mummy? Such a good series. Personally, I prefer the first one. The second one's pretty good. But... All oh, the blood. It will awaken something. Beastie. Ah, yes. Time to be a person and make bad decisions. <laughs> Gods give me strength. <sighs> I don't think I could ever play a first playthrough making like the horrible decisions. I think I would feel too bad. But definitely, like, second playthroughs? That's when you can be chaotic. And <laughs> that's not gonna hold him. good time to fight each other when there's like something else on the other side of the wall. Help me, no, let me make decisions! We have. Our king has cursed us all. Yes. You thought you were the demon. You are wrong. You were. King sacked the temple at Kipur. He built this temple to call for forgiveness. But the gods don't listen. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, how's that working out? Do is silent. Even my daughter's death couldn't wake me to the truth. Follow the fool into the abyss. <sighs> don't let his ruin become ours. It is your temple. There is a way out through the catacombs. Think I should trust you? We have 
Just like in any kind of horror situation, the basement or the catacombs is never the right call. Okay? In case you ever find yourself in like some sort of zombie apocalypse or some shit. Basements aren't your friend. Don't hide in them, okay? It usually doesn't end well. Also, the accessibility in this game is really lovely. Like, I don't like button mashing, so I just have it as, like, click and hold on all of my stuff. It's very nice. Follow me. There's a way out through the stone. Stone? Yes. Also, with all the subtitles and stuff. Come. Sizing and, like, how they look. Um... There's also a dyslexic font. I don't- I'm not currently using it, but there is that option, which is really nice. Yeah. Yes. This is literally my favorite feature. I fucked it up because I started talking. <laughs> Good to see I'm stuck with Gutium's bravest warrior. That heartbeat thing was my favorite like feature We're of all of the games i was so happy to see they continued it okay we're gonna go find all of the things the sack of nebur why did your king grave the temple We technically already played this through, but I want to get a good playthrough again. I also kind of want to see if I can find things that I didn't find, like, the first time, you know? It's the floor just bloody... I questioned this the first playthrough as well. Like, is the floor just covered in blood? <laughs> or is it like red tile? Hmm. Over here. I was like, which door is it? They all look the same. What you hear? Anything spicy? That looks safe. Pazuzu! You fair. We're safe down here. You fair. <laughs> We're so safe. What is this that adorns you? Disdainful. Nothing to concern an Arcadian. How do we get out of here alive? The enemy of my enemy is my enemy. Is <laughs> we help each other. No. No, I want to make this decision. Always hope. I know the game is like <laughs> the game is trying to teach me, like, hey, we can work together, and I'm like, nah. <laughs> Over here. Oh, it's opening on its tail. That's good news. Not 
the fingies. Yeah, that's probably a good call. Be worried about the gods right now. I think all you hope is to stand together. No, if we both run, then we both die. Ready your sword, or one of you dies. Betray. Good job. Oh, there's more than one. <gasps> Look at it. Oh, the curator is such a badass. Favorite character, curator. <laughs> also, when we first played this, everybody was like, Ashley Tisdale, isn't she High School Musical? I'm like, yup. She's the main character, kid. <laughs> I was actually about to ask you, I'm like, were you here the day that we played this? <laughs> that answers my question. <laughs> yeah, she's the main character. Yeah, I don't know, that's okay. I think it was a Friday. Yeah, yeah, she's the main character. You'll see her in a minute, and you'll be like, oh, this is weird. Because the mocaps are so good, so you're like, <laughs> I'm playing Sharpay <laughs> in a horror movie. It's so strange. It's, it's very odd, but I love it. She did a good job. There you are. Hi. It seems our story has yet more secrets to reveal. Yeah. Your part in this play is far from over. I know. And so, are you ready to go once more unto the breach? Mm-hmm. I'm ready to kill people. As you are aware, I am the curator, the custodian of texts. My purpose is to keep a record of everything you do, every decision or mistake you make. This is my repository. Filled with untold stories. Stories about friends and enemies. Loyalty and betrayal. Life. And death. You Understand can even see the fourth book. I'm like... I lost my shit the first time playing this, too. Because you could see Man and Badan, Little Hope, in the books. He's holding House of Ashes. And now we know it's... Uh... The descendant oh, shit. What's it called? Or extremely foolish. What's the fourth one called? Oh no. Perhaps there is more to you than meets the eye. Let's see. 
let me give you a few words of advice. Throughout the story, you encounter certain pictures, pictures which allude to possible outcomes. I suggest you pay attention to their meaning. It could foreshadow a future best avoided. Yeah. And alas, the sands of time have run out here. We'll meet again soon to see how you fare. Poor Faye. Oh, Devil in Me is what it's called. Sorry, I had to Google that. It was going to drive me nuts. The Devil in Me is the fourth one that's coming out next year. Now we get to meet our our characters. Here she is! Making out! What's up, Marie? Can't you keep up? It's so weird. This could be our last time together, Rachel. After what happened at the checkpoint, I thought I was done. These last few weeks, you, you've lifted me up. I don't know where I'd be without you. It is, isn't it? Rachel King. I don't think this ride got me any better. You know this. I'll be there in five. Fuck, it's him. It's early. Your husband, you mean? Don't you think it's about time you came clean? Yeah, you'd think so. Put your clothes back on. Straighten up. Hey, Rachel. Are you gonna tell him about us or what? You and Eric are part three. You. Yeah. Whatever you had, it, it's gotta be over. Oh, uh, we should put this on we ice. We should put this on ice. On ice? Yeah. Like, just like that? Yeah. So what, we just, we just stop? Yeah. Is that how it works? Uh-huh. That's exactly how it works. Like, my husband is here. For crying out loud, Nick, how else do you think it works? From now on, we just, we just have to keep a little distance. Sounds like an order, man. Say no more. I get it. In case you hadn't caught on, this is the be a dick edition. <laughs> yeah, that's going to get you into trouble later on. All right, let's do this. I don't think I got to see this before. Rachel, to Rachel King from DOA, James Horn. Deployment to Camp Slayer, Baghdad. Director of Operations confirms your deployment to Iraq to assist survey group operations in the hunt for weapons of mass destruction. Uh, manage field operation as acting CO for U.S. Force Recon. Uh, yes, U.S. Marine Force Recon. Evaluate satellite data from the Kalis program to locate WMD sites. Act as liaison between rebel factions and coalition forces. Your deployment commences on March 25th at 0800 hours. Secure transit will be arranged from your office to Langley uh, AFB. Yeah. So that's what we're doing here. Oh, yeah, we didn't get to do this because I didn't pick this option to be your rude courage, to our boyfriend. Your willingness to face danger for your country and for each other made this day possible. Because of you, our nation is more secure. Because of you, the tyrant has fallen and Iraq is free. All right, enough of that. Yeah, we didn't get to do this before. What this? Oh, Rachel and Eric. Oh, we get to see a picture. Oh, that's so cute. Look at them on their wedding day. What happened? So much, probably. All 
All right, let's go. Also, the fact that I can actually control the way that the camera moves is great. Let's go meet the husband. All right, where are we going? Where are we dropping? Oh. Not really sure exactly what I'm looking at, but that's okay. That's a little too much information for my brain. What else can I look at? This? Confidential. With the survey group becoming operational today, it is imperative to stress the need for mission success. Our military operations need a clear and compelling end state. U.S. forces have been engaged to end the threat to the international community from Iraqi WMD. Until we prove that threat, we cannot rightfully justify the invasion under international law. Hello? Why are we getting a solar eclipse? Hello, everybody. Mrs. King. Eric. You're looking good, Rachel. <laughs> Rational but insecure. Great. Eric, this is my team. And if you want to brief them, you clear with me first. I should have warned you I was moving the briefing forward. That's on me. But things escalated, I had to move fast. I have a duty to my team to stay ahead of the curve. I understand, Rachel, but CENTCOM has given their orders. Orders? I'm now commanding officer. What? I didn't mean for you to find out like this. Truly. I'm sorry, Rachel. Somehow I doubt that very much. Oh. This is from Sox Central. It confirms that Lieutenant Colonel King has assumed control of this operation. Why are you holding it like that? Access to your network. Uh, who are you? Who the hell are you? This is Dr. Stokes. I've given her full clearance. I bet you have. Okay, guess I'll go figure it out for myself. Yup. Dr. Stokes, please prepare the presentation. You found something? Mm-hmm. We did. The fuck is that? Modern art or something? This is footage from the highly classified Kalis program. That's what means something to me. It's a thermal satellite system that I personally pioneered. Oh, well, I'm impressed. Please, pioneer away. You behave like this in all your briefings, Corporal? Holy shit. Boys are just eager to catch a break. Uh, it, I've no forgotten harm. how much I disliked him. Very well. Satellite sweeps of the war zone have uncovered what appears to be an underground storage facility. This will, of course, require further investigation, but I strongly suspect where Saddam's chemical weapons are hidden. We got you, you son of a bitch. CENTCOM has given the green light to raid the facility and seize any weapons on site. Hostilities may be over, but there are holdout groups of Republican Guard all over the country. They could deploy those weapons at any time, so we need to move fast. The army is giving us a ride out there in their helos. On arrival, Lieutenant Kolchak will lead the raid on the facility. Once it's secured, we'll carry out a full weapons inspection. Now listen up. There's been a change of leadership, but Rachel's operational expertise and local knowledge is just as valuable as ever. She'll be flying with us, and I want you all to show her the same respect. Any questions? What the fuck are we waiting for? I'm ready. Merwin. There's trouble territory out there, Colonel. 
Make no mistake, those people are feral. I take it we're getting their support? Nah. Too many birds to bring them down on us. We move fast in, fast out. Yeah, that's pretty much what your mama said to me. Hey, careful, boy. If I didn't pull out so fast, I could have been your papi. <laughs> All right, that's enough, Merlin. Mm -hmm. Sir, what's your call? Can you tell that I really like him? I'll put in a request for air support to be on standby. This feel right to you? We're flying low under the radar, but that will have make fun? us easy to spot. Wait, radar. what do you mean have fun? <laughs> Tolchek is right about having backup on standby. Oh, you gotta go. <laughs> go dark until weapons are secured. We don't break I didn't read the other message. Hours. Thank you, Kit. I appreciate it. A lot of shit can go down in 24 hours. I'll quit being a bitch. I'm just saying, that's all. Have a good rest of your day, this okay? This is why we went to war. This is what gets us out of bed every morning. Make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen. This is how we stop Saddam from using these weapons. Be ready in one hour. Dismiss. Uh, I really want to get to, like, the fun part of this game. Three. When, like, all the Bring action the picks equipment. up so I can wow. make really bad decisions. I don't know, man. Just don't feel right. I'm getting this tingle down the back of my neck. Oh, sweetie. Look, it's a rub down. We'll sort that right out, huh? I'm serious. I got a real bad feeling about this. That's why you get them spending too much time with Eric. Is there anything you can do? No, not really. I'm gonna download the latest satellite data. You can have some alone time with him. Thank you, Clarice. Oh, uh, we need to talk. Eric, we need to talk. There's something I have to tell you. You should know. It wasn't my decision to take over your operation. Rachel, this is it. Everything I've worked on these past years, it's ready. This is the big break we've been waiting for. Is it though? This isn't about us, Eric. I is just it? want things to go back to the way they were. How we left it, things weren't so great between us. We've been through worse. A lot worse. I'm not gonna be total bitch right now. I'm just not gonna say anything. You're still wearing your wedding ring. Careful with that. Oh shit, sorry. I got in that box of tricks anyway. Probably expensive machinery. What the fuck is that? Like that. That's that's light. literally gonna save some explosive. lives here. Let me have a go. No. No. How much longer for that download, Clarice? I need it ASAP. Is five minutes ASAP enough for you? Downloading data now. Good. I'll check this Ooh, out right now. Guns. Not the greatest bandwidth. To work with what we have. Can you sign this 1348? Huh? Equipment release form. Can you? Oh, sure. Check all equipment. Then check it again. Yep. Yeah, I hear you. Maybe stop staring at the guy that you just told to kind of fuck off. Can I go talk to him? I can't. Damn it! I didn't talk to the team last time, so maybe we should do that. No, I knew there was a reason you were tagging along. What does that mean? Someone's gonna have to tie all the pretty little knots and shit. Um. Watch your mouth, Corporal. You're gonna go run into your husband and squeal on me now? I strongly suggest that you show some respect for your superior. Hey, if Centcom wants to put the nerds in charge. Yeah, well, you know what? Nerds are awesome. And maybe we think first and then shoot later. Damn, Rachel. You're just as pissed as some of these guys. What's up? I have a picture of a president. What a shit morning. 
Yeah, he, he's ruffled a few feathers, huh? How come you never told me you had a husband? Um, because it's none of your damn business. Put those cards away and go find something useful to do. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to. Just go. Nobody gets to work together. <laughs> there will be no friends here. Nothing. Can I talk to these people? Why does she walk around so clunky? Can't talk to them. What's this? Grenade? Uh, oh, careful with that. What is it? You're packing phosphor? Isn't that... Yeah, it's restricted. We're cool as long as we use it for smoke. How do they work? How do these things work? <laughs> Standard 40 millimeter phosphor shell. We use it for target marking, screening, or at a push, clearing rooms. Looks small, but spits out a load of smoke and burns like hell. Appreciate the lesson, Lieutenant. Check this gear again. Interesting. And I, I already did this. Look at this. Oh, this is just where we're gonna go in. Oh. Okay. Can I talk to Eric, please? I talked to everybody else, I think. Yeah, I already read this. We talked to Merwin. We talked to him. That's just the map. Is that it? Is that all there to do? What's over here? Let's go touch this. <laughs> go touch everything. Mission accomplished. President Bush declares end of hostilities in Iraq. Manny Sherman executed. Killer uncooperative during final hours. Oh, jeez. Convicted serial killer Manny Sherman was executed by lethal injection at 12.30 a.m. Friday at the Southwest State Penitentiary. Sherman was sentenced to death in 1999 following a trial in which he was convicted of killing 13 women back, dating back to the 1970s. It is believed there are many more victims, but Sherman has refused to cooperate with police. Despite his notoriety and growing campaign calling for his sentence to be reduced to life imprisonment, no further was, uh, was appeal was made by Sherman's lawyer. Sherman died shortly after the lethal cocktail of drugs was injected into his arms. He refused a final meal and declined to give a statement to the victim's families. Is this? Download complete. I'll get to the helo. Is that information about the killer in the next game? In The Devil and Me? I think it is. What? What? You want to ask me something? I can tell by that look on your face. You think oh. I take it you're talking we, about I don't think shipper? we read that last time. Or like, we read just, hey, nice guy. you know, the headline and that was well, it. We here. didn't actually nice read the newspaper. Cuddle. What do you think of him? Think he's got something else on his mind? Interesting. See, this is another reason why I wanted to play this game again. Because, like, the first time you're like so invested in the story and you don't want to fuck up and all this. Now, I'm like, I know sort of what happens. We're also making different decisions, but I'm also a little bit less concerned about, like, making sure all the characters don't die. 
which means I'm also exploring more because I want to get like all like the little tidbits and whatnot. Then, and again. Then. Yeah, your kid's not home. I really like Salim. He was probably my favorite character. Oh, they're cute. I don't know if I picked this up the first time. Oh, I did pick this up the first time because that's his sister. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Zane got uh, approved to Highgate University to read mythology. Yeah. All right. Oh, God. Oh, hi. That was, that was a close-up. <laughs> that was a close-up and a half. Well, uh, he's not here. Then? Yeah, that's probably a thing for school. Oh, busy in Penny. He's selling stuff to pay for school. Hello. Uh, hello, I'm Salim. Salim Darko, Abu Zain. Hello. Yes. I work out. So, uh, Zain, my, my, who was in my abne? Sorry. I was sorry. Who my Bob? Rahu Yaki, Sima Asila. Kulu Kulu. Hmm. Oh, I found some stolen goods. Let's just see. Oh, they've been stealing. Interesting how they're calling the police thugs. Uh oh. Something's not happy. Yeah, it's not a good time, huh? Captain Basri, Alan. Put a smile on your face. The invaders. Okay, us. Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh, we, mm, nah, we'll just go. Will you, though? Will you be home soon? 
there's also a possibility that you may not come home at all. <laughs> Depending on how this plays out, you know? We are playing on lethal. Which means everybody could die. Push them out of the helicopter real quick. Well, damn. How long you been sitting on them? Oh, yeah, you like that? I got shit ton more of those bad boys lined up. How about let's yeah, not? What your mama said. Do you two want to cut the bullshit and focus on the mission? Yes, thank you. Hey, only one place I let a woman boss me around like that, all right? And that's between the sheets. You try me again, Corporal, <laughs> and I'll bring down all hell on you. Sexist much? Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm just trying to lighten the mood, folks. Merwin, Can we lighten it a different I want you way? On the mission and nothing else. Is that clear, Marine? Aye, aye, sir. Sergeant K, I need you to establish contact with the AWACS CP on four hour intervals. Sergeant K, are you with me? Yeah, I got it. Contact CP every four hours. Let's be provocative. Hey, whatever's going on in there, compartmentalize that shit. I need you here with me. Can I count on you? I'll ask you one more time. Can I count on you? Yeah, I got you. Okay. Play it out, Nick. What the fuck is up with you? It's nothing. Where I'm sitting looks pretty damn far from nothing. Yeah. I'm fine, I'm fine. This ain't about that. Get that shit out of your head and move on. I have. Oh, he knows. You have oh, no. You Never mind. The Marines, this is not about Rachel. Together. I forgot about that. Semper Fi. Semper Fi. Semper Fi? What's that? Some kind of Boy Scout thing? Kinda. It's the Marine thing. It means always loyal. So what, it's supposed to be lucky? Marines have a boatload of superstition. Hit me with one. Don't look back at the helicopter. They say to never look back when you're disembarking the helo. Yep, I remember this one. Mostly because I thought it was interesting. That's gotta be about the stupidest thing I have ever heard. And she's gonna look back. Yeah, well maybe. But as I see it, why take a chance? Eyes forward at I all mean, time. true. If you look backwards in a war zone. No wonder you get your ass shot off. Good to go, Marines. Okay. So what we were sent here to do, and may God be my witness, we're gonna succeed. Amen to that, brother. Hoorah! Hoorah! Pigs do fly. They call us a pig. Thanks. I love that we get to play both sides. That's probably one of my favorite things about this game. Because you really start to see, like, these people as not your enemies. And actually people that, you know, you should probably work with against the actual enemy. Uh, let's just shut up. <laughs> Will I get a promotion? 
تشتري لكل واحد مينا قصر انا حامل ايه في القصر اذا ما كنتش حاضر فيشو I mean true if you have nobody to furnish it what's the point Okay, I'll be lookout. Did we do that? Oh. I hadn't realized that we had done that. Yeah. They look like shepherds. Nobody important lives out here. Well, they don't know that. This is interesting to see, like, from their perspective. We didn't do this last time. We're gonna blow up the helicopter? Yeah, we didn't get to see this last time. This is very cool. I mean, we are playing the curator's cut, so this was kind of expected. But it's really cool to see. This is suicide. Who should I target? Okay. Can I actually do it? Let's do it! Wait! See, that we saw, but we didn't actually get to, like, play Salim shooting the helicopter. That's cool! I wonder if we could be defiant and, like, the helicopter wouldn't have gone shot. Third playthrough! There's a second helicopter? Oh. Oh, he's dead. Oh, was I supposed to shoot the other way? Oh, I wasn't realizing. <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Shoot the barrels! They'll blow up, won't they? I don't think that guy's doing super well. I'm just gonna say that. Okay, let's do it. Ah, it was too slow. <laughs> I think you pissed them off. 
You think? shit like that. That's just asking for it. Oh, Jesus Christ. shooting at oh get down on the floor I swear I'll oh I remember this oh wow okay so last time that was a decision I got to make this time he just did it automatically you better not miss And then Salim previously hadn't shot. Okay, and I just, I chose to be chaotic, okay? <laughs> oh. Down he goes! Rachel. He went head first into the, Rachel. okay. Oh shit! Oh shit's kinda right. Convenient these holes are. <laughs> it's it. I actually do like him. At the beginning of our first playthrough, I was like, fuck him, I don't like him. Oh, I liked him fuck? more than Merwin, because, like, you gotta like everybody more than Merwin, no, but actual, I didn't really like him at the beginning. I thought he was annoying. Shit. By the end of it, of our first playthrough, I actually was, like, really a fan of him. Which is nice to see that, like, character progression. Let's go! Yeah, flashlight. I'm coming. I'm coming. Don't blow your load too fast, buddy. That don't sound too promising. Doesn't it? I think it sounds fine. Nothing to be concerned about here. You can't see? Well, ain't that something? Oh yeah, we didn't get to see Nick's cutscene. Interesting. Get back topside. Regroup with the rest of the squad and signal for medivac. This place ain't no weapon silo, but it's sure as fuck crawling with Iraqis. Nick? Sergeant Cade, pull yourself together. Eyes wide. He saw All the good. thing. Just wasn't expecting to suddenly fall into the fucking earth. Uh, nobody really it. was. But, like, keep it together there, bud. Never seen anything like this. So maybe he hasn't seen... This place. Massive. 
Pazuzu yet. If only we could do stairs a little faster. <laughs> Ah, it'll be fine. Tell me you don't feel okay. What, Nick? What? You're worried yet. I know some. I feel shit. Yeah. You sure about that? Yeah. It's fine. Like, I don't think we have anything to be worried about, honestly. I think it's cool. Not that way. That's where we dropped. Ooh! Look at that! Nice little skull. Hell yeah. Shit. Hey, Yori. Someone really did a number on your teeth. Your Punctured skull. Oh, this was just like a secret to find. Okay, this is not the way forward. This way, I guess. Oh, this is where we came from. That was weird. This is the way forward. Got it. Gonna need a little help with this. Yeah, let's do it together. Looks like a two man job. Got the BU on me. I mean, it is a pretty big door. Like, <laughs> I was like, what's that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Warren gets absolutely Why fucked over. Trying? Will you stop squirming around? It's bad. He's bleeding out. We have to cut him down right now. Hold tight, buddy. We got you. Nick, I need you here. Cut the wire. Okay, so obviously I have to. It's more like interactive this time for lethal. You're gonna pull through, brother. Suck it up. There's no feet in my pack. Grab it. Nah, it's fine. He's gonna die. What's the point? We're just wasting it. Hurry the hell up! We got this. You keep a lookout. For what? Look out for what? Who the hell loaded these packs? That was my favorite part of this in our first play here. <laughs> Like, for what? Oh, fuck. Clarice? Clarice? It's fine. It's fine! Don't worry about it. It's fine. Well, that's a lot of blood. He doesn't die to Pazuzu, he's gonna die of blood loss. He's not looking so hot. You want the good version or the bad version? Just give it to him straight. Not gonna lie, man. It's pretty fucking bad. That's an understatement. Oh, was there an option to, like, not morphine him? Let's see. Hold it in, man. Hold it the fuck in. Out of curiosity, I'm doing this. Okay, so he's just gonna bleed out. <laughs> yeah, you might want to run now. You gotta go. Interesting.
All right. Let's see what Salim's up to. Anna, Mulazim, Salim, Osman, the Kulu Kunut, and Tufain, how? That's his captain. Captain. Yeah. Captain. Yep. Shit. Dar. Is that the Kismani? And uh. You're in a. Yeah. Okay. That's one way of thinking about it. How? got the big gun and the little knife. What else do you need? It's fine. Alright. Let's go! Who needs to celebrate? Oh, right, this is the giant area. Don't we get to see the Pazuzu? Yeah. Maybe not at this very moment, but we do get to see it here with Salim at some point. It's your enemy. I don't think they're going to say anything to you. I'm just going to be real. You have a gun. Oh god. That's not so hot. He got dragged. Oh yes. So that's where he died. Let's just follow the uh, giant pools of blood. I think that that is a stellar idea, personally. Ah! Hi again. If I failed that, would he just like go? And I'm like, that's it. That's the end of your story. Oh yeah, now we have no flashlight either. The no gun thing was like, oh, not great. But the no flashlight is not my favorite. Oh. I don't think that's I don't think that's a a person. I'm just I'm just gonna put that out there. I don't think it's a person. Hello. Do people use echolocation? I don't think so. Not typically. Also, if you were w wondering, they do use echolocation. I guessed it before we got confirmation, but uh, we did find out later in the game that they do, in fact, do that. They're kind of like bats. Who's that? Well, that's one of his people. Uh, uh, yeah, let's just run. now so I'm like ooh this is bad the fingies oh yeah just yell at it that's that's gonna do a good job I think that'll be a good a good thing it ain't dead I hate to break it to you no 
No, it's not dead. It's like Nemi. Nemi don't die. He's so happy with himself though. Oh, Salim. No, 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 bud. No, no, no. I'm assuming this is Rachel and Eric. Yeah. Place is about to come down. Um, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you hurt? I'm good. Did you see Sergeant K? Cole check. Last I saw, they were together. Still tried. Something's interfering with the signal. Probably should fire down. Right. That could be another way out. Okay. Oh, yeah, let's just go deeper into the cave. Our only option. Our only option. Let's move. Now. Je Jesus Christ, dude. Carabiners, quick draws, rope, light. Shit. Okay. It's okay. Just hit it a few All times. Good. It'll work. All good. It's fine. Let's do it. Well, that's a steep drop to nowhere. Yep. Seems about rope. Look, there's an airflow. I say oh. we climb. Interesting. So when did you start smoking? Excuse me? I didn't. The lighter. Yeah. It's nothing. It's just something I picked up back at base. Are you ready? AKA from you? your previous boyfriend? I think I made fun of them for, for that particular move in the last playthrough as well. It's just very goofy. This place doesn't look much like a weapon silo to me. Um just shut up, Eric. There we go. I wasn't sure who we were playing as. I think I played as Rachel. I guess we could classify this as quality time. Is it quality time, though? I, mean, I always did have a different view on quality time. Yeah. I wouldn't necessarily consider this quality this time. time Jake. You mean the sense of feeling lost? Oh, shots fired. Okay. Yeah, that's that's fine. I say this time around we just cut the rope when we get to it. You know, for fun. This is a uh, cuneiform, right? Old? It's ancient. That's cuneiform. Yeah. Sumerian, maybe? What is this place? Temple? You're quite the expert on history. I didn't realize. Maybe you don't know me as well as you think. Go and find all the secrets. Coming. Ah, yes. Let's go deeper. So it's harder to get out of the cave. That sounds like a good idea. It's, it's fine. Just jump across. No biggie. Seems stable. 
That looks fun. I'd probably pee myself doing that. If the floor broke like that, I'd be like, yeah, no, I'm done. I'm, I'm good, thank you. What is this? Got a certain tool on the dresser. More writing? What do you think this place is? It's hard to say. Maybe carvings look religious. Mm. I think they're maybe in the temple. Oh, it's the Pazuzu statue. Pazuzu. 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 You know how much horror movies? Nah. You should know the answer to that. It's a Sumerian demon. Something to do with plague victims. Plagues and demons, huh? Yeah. Great. Unbelievable. I was not expecting this at all. Yeah, you and me both. <laughs> oh. Great, that's all we need. Yeah. Honestly. What the fuck? Let's look down into the hole. <laughs> what is it? Can you hear that? I didn't hear anything. You didn't hear? I, thought I heard something down there. I just yelled out. Even in ruins, this place is still something special. I wonder what happened here. That's gunfire. Where's it coming from? That I did not hear. I heard the Pazuzu. We should move. Can you make anything out? Deep. Alex say it to you? It's our only option. Get the rope. I saw a door though. Going down. What about the door? <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> this honestly reminds me so much of subnautica here you're like yeah i can't see down let's go <laughs> like it's a bad idea just don't go farther down it gets creepier the farther down you get how much rope do they have They seem to have an awful lot. Unbelievable. Or I'm not the first ones here. Perfectly believable because you're watching it. All this crap must be what Kayla's detecting. How could you have gotten it so wrong? What if I found you? You went through all this shit for what? Like a few barrels and crates? I'll learn from this. I'll go back and work twice as hard to rewrite the program. Caleb will be stronger than ever. <laughs> She's such a bitch. You don't think I can do it? Uh, no, I mean, I would have picked it, but like, you damn. Done job, what do you want me to do? Just walk away from it? Give up? Wouldn't be the first time. Ooh. What the hell is that? Subsidence? From the aftershocks? looks like archaeological gear. Somebody was studying this thing. Hey, we can use those lamps. The light could guide the Marines to us. Not a bad plan. Do you think that still works? Nope. It'll work. Oh. Just needs gas. We need to find some. If only that was the only problem I was having while playing <laughs> The Last of Us Part 2. I suck at generators. Generators. Sorry? Did you say something? No. Nothing. She just said, I hope you're safe about the other guy. Oh my god. Oh, 
Now is not the time. We need to get these lights burning ASAP. Piece of shit. Okay. Scholars regard the Curse of Akkad as a fiction, an instructional story that trained the Siberians to endure famine, fate, and whims of the gods. However, this discovery of this great temple hints at a truth behind it. At a new truth behind it. And in the original tale, the god Enlil turns against King Naramsin of Akkad. At first, the king is pious and penitent, uh, penitent, praying for answers, but after seven years, the gods have given none. So Naramsin decides to bring them to account. He raises an army and marches to the city of Nippur, Kasak and Lil's temple. His blasphemy is so great that Enlil, the roaring storm, enlists the gods against Naramsin, sending the Gutians to raise Akkad to the ground, destroying its farms and cursing the people with famine. Which is basically what we saw in, like, the opening. Do you think Sencom is aware of our situation? I'm hoping the pilots got word back. And he went to the Zag Letter. Unbelievable. Explosives! What do you think the rest of the squad are doing? They're tough. Each and every one of them. Don't Probably the same thing. Why has this passage been blocked off? Yeah, needs done quickly. Whoever did it was in a rush. These are set to blow. They were planning to bring down the whole temple. I wonder why. Can Maybe it has to something to do with the Pazuzus? The way I see it, if these people were here before us, there must be another way out. This is King's All Talk Island. Are you receiving? Over. Can I do anything with this? Maybe not. Um. I don't think. I hope we can get this thing started. Rachel, we should be there. Giant gun. Is that a machine gun? Hell yeah, it, it is. is. It's a World War II model. What on earth happened here? Big fight. Big fight. I'm beginning to think that even the Iraqis don't know about this place. Uh, we gotta go over here. I don't understand how I could have been so wrong. Well, believe it. Rachel, give me a hand with these cans, will you? They're full. They are. It's a miracle. How's the lake holding up? Lake. Oh, you mean the prosthesis? I lost my leg back on the highway. Don't. We still feel guilty. Ooh. I didn't make it easy on you, Rach. I know that. You weren't to blame for that crash. Mom, let's get to work. <laughs> She's like, I don't want to talk about it. That did scare me a little. <laughs> Shine a light on the tank. Oh, shit. It's leaking. Oh. Fuel tubes worn loose. The damn valve is leaking. Can it be fixed? We have okay. to secure the tube before starting the generator. There's gotta be something here to fix it. The duct tape was where? I don't remember exactly where I'm No. 
No. It won't be an examine, it'll be like a pickup. Yeah, right here. Oh, it is an examine. Interesting. Well, I got the duct tape, so that's all that matters. Found some duct tape. Get this generator going. <laughs> Perks of doing a second playthrough. You know where shit is. Got it? I've got it. Um, uh, okay, we need to stay focused. We need to stay focused. Whatever issues are between us, we can't let them cloud our judgment. Gee, thanks for the advice. I'll try not to let our failed marriage get in the way of our mission. Just keep your eyes on the job. Don't worry, I know exactly what I'm doing. Hold the field fine. The last time we played this, I asked, I was like, is this a good time to talk? And it was, like, really awkward. That's just rude. I know we're playing, like, chaotic and shit. And I'm trying to create- I'm, like, actively trying to create rifts between the people. But I don't- I don't know what I thought I was getting into. Excuse me, but it- I don't know- it wasn't this. They're shot. Well? I'd shoot them. Feels like so long since we worked on something together. Same time feels like yesterday. Why do we leave things like this? I tried. But you made it so hard for me to stay. Should have stuck together. But she didn't. I don't think either of us expected to be out of each other's lives for so long past year or so, my head's been buried in Kalis, and I was blind to anything else. Sounds less like an apology and more like an excuse. It's not either. It's the truth. Bullshit. You had no idea that Kalis would even work. That doesn't Thanks. mean it's not worth trying. Say what's on your mind. You left me what I needed you. After the accident, I was at the lowest I'd ever been. I couldn't cope, couldn't function. And when I needed you most, Rachel, when I needed you by my side, you left me. Kayla's pulled me out of that pit. It's the past, Eric. We have to put it behind doesn't us. Doesn't mean it doesn't it. hurt. Otherwise, we're just going around in circles. I'm happy to look to that future. There we go. Got some power. There's a way in for these people. There's a way out for us. Let's take a look around. Thanks. Just meanwhile, getting absolutely screwed over in the caves. Fuck. There's our little bunny. It's not working. We gotta go through it. The other way is safe. Nah, let's go through it. Fuck this. We're going forward. We went around last time. Let's go through it. Oh, 
That was it? I thought there would be like a skill check or something. Apparently not. Did you just get hit? Oh, he did. Holy shit. Such a small sh little scene. Let's go. I want more. Where are we going? Oh, tape recorder. Okay. From the point of defense, this place has some good choke points, but overall, it's a weak setup. Take a look at this. I'm like, let me just cut you off real that quick. Thanks. The tape is all tangled up. Just like rewinding like a VHS tape. It's not that hard. I don't see you wearing yours. You just don't want to do it. Always close to my heart. You were always a good guy. Mm. You too, Goodson. Have you forgotten what this ring means to me? Just not say anything. You're pretty damn good at that. Oh, he dodged the kiss. What the hell? I knew it. What do you want from me, Eric? The truth uh -oh. can be a good start. What does that mean? Know you better than you think, Rachel. You lied to me about that lighter. He knows. You told me about his secret smoking habit. Eric, please. Tell me the truth. Don't do this. Admit it. There's someone else, isn't there? Yep. The bones of this temple are drenched in blood. We have set foot on an uncharted shore and roused something ancient and witchy. A blasphemy that comes in indescribable shapes and forms. For eons we lived as children in this world, unaware of the horrors that slumber beneath our feet. Now we have blindly thrown open the gates to madness. It sounds horrible. My fear being taken. But I must do what I must. We must seal this place for eternity. For all mankind. Mary. I am sorry. Jeez. Hello? Shit. Ah! Oh, this is the commander. This is not Salim. Still getting chased. The hell is going on? I don't know, man. Yeah. It was not supposed to play out like this. How is it supposed to play out? That's Rachel. Kane, this is Mailman Two and Actual. Say again. Over. Kane, this is Mailman Nothing. Two and Actual. How copy over? Damn. It. They're gonna get surrounded, because there's multiple of them. Oh, don't go into the darkness. Not your friend. Oh yeah, that's safe. You can circle this goddamn place. Ugh, serious, that looks decades old. But we have what are we gonna do? You see him? No. Yes. He's coming. Hi. Kill your light. Oh, 
this is new. Uh oh. Fuck up, that's incredible. Uh oh. Rachel. I got you, Rach. I got you. I don't think you did. Oh no. Intentionally trying not to hold still. I'm so sorry, Rachel. I'm so sorry. She's probably like, for what? Uh, it didn't give me an option. I want to know what happens. Oh, they're both gonna go down, aren't they? Yup. That was the premonition. <laughs> a little not doing so well it wasn't a bad way for eric to bow out at least he died a soldier's death true what of jason and nick brothers in arms but with a darkness in their past that will test the strength of their friendship let's not forget that they've already lost corporal merwin to the dark and the night is still young. Which brings us to Salim. He seems level-headed. An almost reluctant soldier, perhaps. An unwelcome fate now awaits our survivors. Trapped beneath the earth. Swallowed by the void. It's inevitable. Some lights flicker and die. How long the remaining flames burn for is up to you. It's not my place to concern myself with the affairs of others, but it does keep things interesting. I can offer you some words of advice, as long as you are willing to keep this strictly between ourselves. No. <laughs> well, that would defeat no the purpose. Blame if things don't pan out quite as you intend. <laughs> I intend to be chaotic. <laughs> That's all for now. Okay. 